<laughs> this is ridiculous. <clears throat> Alrighty. I'm going to be going on a little bit of a nighttime excursion again. Um, back to the airport for some better footage. Hopefully, this time. Right, so, hopefully, um, from what I can just judge right off the bat, uh, the night is a lot calmer, so hopefully you should be able to hear me a lot better. I should probably hold the camera a little bit further out so you're not all up in my grill and all that. <laughs> so here we have the ocean. Maybe we'll be able to see it a bit better. At least we can see with my pathetic light the fact that the ocean is there this time. And we have our, our sign. And Mr. Windsock, of course. Um, I've taken both torches with me that I brought. Uh, I can't really see either side. Uh, either side, what am I saying? Um, neither of them make too much of a difference uh, in terms of what the camera can pick up, but it at least allows me to see, even with the light in my face. We'll get some good waves, perhaps. This is sort of exactly the reason why uh, you advise not to come out on this section is that when the waves do pick up, you can't really see if they're doing anything majestic right now, but they do tend to splash up a little bit when the seas get rough. But that's probably all for this section. We'll head on up over to the rocks, past Mr. Windsock. We're up past Mr. Windsock now. It's a little earlier than the last time I came out, um, so I can actually see a little bit better as it is um, without the torch anyway. Mr. Moon, still doing his thing. But this is sort of the stuff that I was trying to show that's actually quite interesting. Ha! It's not the best, I need a kind of like a massive spotlight. But you can see this whole area is sort of built up of these interesting shaped concrete blocks. Which I am standing on one. That's sort of prime graffiti surfaces but it's uh, it provides quite the interesting landscape now I'm gonna get down here safely before I break my neck a lot more cars out tonight we're really wondering what this strange person is doing clambering around the rocks with a torch but there's nothing here to steal well Unless you're the Hulk and you can pick up one of these bad boys. I really hope my voice is coming out a lot clearer this time. Uh, the wind has decreased, but you never know with this kind of stuff. Lots of trucks out tonight. Um, don't know what the deal is. Sunday night. I'm not so sure if this is seal country, because I know back where I grew up, uh, if there's any sort of rock formations like this, you get seals coming up from the ocean and camping out. And of course back then I was much smaller and could crawl into these crevices so it was sort of a, a, a game of roulette even that I could possibly run into a holy shit did you guys hear that? I 
don't know if there was a wind or if there is actually an animal somewhere out there. I see this is much more exciting than last time. <laughs> Some kind of weird whiny noise. So I better keep my eye out just in case. There's a long way to go across this section. I've never actually walked out there complete way. Um, and it simply just takes you over to the other side of the runway. Because this is the very end of the runway here. Certainly are a lot of trucks coming in tonight. Buses, trucks, all sorts. So you get a much much better impression of what's going on. Ooh, an interesting sign. Let's have a look, have a look at the sign, shall we? And my beanie's coming off. Here we go. This is the big business. Restricted area, access to the seawall is prohibited due to the danger from jet blast. That's sort of why I'm coming here at night. So I can actually wander out here while the planes aren't going overhead and uh, have a look around. It really is disappointing that this torch doesn't show a lot because it's really like there's a, there's a pit out there and the seawall just goes on for ages and it's just all all those bricks and rocks of other shapes. Let's walk out. See now this is interesting. I've never walked out this far. I nearly tripped over a piece of concrete. <laughs> but that sounds almost like an engine. Like a plane taking off. This could get interesting, but I can't actually tell because I'm too short <laughs> and I can't see over that wall properly. I'm not even sure if it's going to come out this way. Um, what's a windsock saying? I can't really tell. Zoom in. Ah, zoom, you function. Zoom. And my perception from this angle is not great. I can't tell which direction it's actually <laughs> it's actually blowing from this, this angle. But can you see the fireworks? Yay, fireworks! People are still letting them off. That's cool. Let's zoom back out. I really don't know what's going on there. I don't know if there's going to be a plane fly over here dramatically or not. Could be a while. Okay, we might have something. I don't know if you can catch that sound, but there's definite jet engines warming up over there. And they're slowing but back down again. I can't see anything on the runway, so... I don't think we're going to get a takeoff. Not tonight. Oh wait, no, we can. Never, I can see movement of the lights over there. Not even sure if I'm focusing in the right area. Yeah. Yep, there's something, but, yep, you might be able to see it setting up the taxi down there, but of course we're at the wrong end, and there is our downfall, he's taking off, yeah, of course, they take off into the wind, don't they, so, yeah, now I can see the wind sock clearer, uh, you can see that it's, they're going to be taking off in that direction. And I'm horrible with uh, knowing which side is which in terms of compass points. I forget which side of the airport that actually is. He's setting up. 
I turned off my uh, my torch so as not to distract him, distract the pilots. Don't want to screw anything up and kill uh, a few, a fair few people. Starting to be able to see slightly clearer. It's a fairly sizable plane, obviously. It's a late night flight going somewhere important. We get a pretty interesting shot, really. We should be able to get the uh, initial takeoff. plane is that? Still can't quite tell. Oh yeah, that looks like, like the Virgin Blue plane, I think. Interesting jets! Holy shit! <laughs> that is so cool! Still can't tell. That's not Virgin, is it? I don't know. Here we go, guys. You may fire when ready. Boom! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Get that thunder. Man, get in the air! And they're off. And all we can see is a little bit of a light. Oh well, that's made this trip productive. I think I'll call it a night, head back to the Right, so that's one interesting Wellington spot that I've been to. And sort of covered uh, quite comprehensively, I guess. Once again, trying not to avoid backing into the sea. And we're heading back home. So we're all good in terms of traffic tonight. Watch the bump. And back on the road. Alrighty, coming back up on the airport departure ramp. See if there is any dickheads tonight leaving trolleys in the road. Ah, uh, we're good tonight. No interesting obstructions, sadly. 